Well, let's take a live look at the We Energy's map right now. More than 5,000 customers already without power. Jefferson County, more than 2,400 customers without power. Waukesha County, about 1,800 customers without power right now. So that's kind of the base expected to go up from there. And you'll remember the last big storm that rolled through our area. That led to the largest power restoration project in We Energy's history. It's been just over four months since those storms knocked out power to more than 250,000 customers. And tonight's forecast, a reminder of what's possible. Fox 6's Sam Kramer joins us live. And Sam, many have taken lessons from what happened last time. Yeah, hi there, Ben. And that includes myself. Our house lost power for a few days, so we lost everything, all the food inside our fridge. This time, we're prepared, not taking any shortcuts. We've got extra coolers and dry ice. We went to neighborhoods where other homeowners took direct damage. They too say they're ready. Near 106th and Beecher in West Dallas, memories of August are fresh on the mind of Matthew Sorry. It was unexpected. Like I've never really had a situation like that before. Nothing can really prepare you for that until something like that happens. His fence is still dented after winds tore a pair of limbs off the tree in his backyard, which also knocked out his power for a few days. But this time, even with menacing clouds overhead, he says his family is ready. Generators got gas, that's good, just in case, and got bags ready and, you know, just gonna hold out and hopefully nothing major happens and if it does, ready to go someplace safe immediately. In August, more than 250,000 customers lost power. The city of Milwaukee took nearly a thousand calls for damaged trees and several homes and cars were also impacted. Brian Hammermeister remembers his main concern that night was wind why he tied down all his inflatable Christmas decorations in the front yard. They're kind of expensive and I'd rather not have them get thrown to the uh, uh, streets for somebody to run over. He's hoping this storm will blow through on a much lighter note, especially after tornadoes tore through Kentucky, Arkansas and other states just earlier this week. Worried about any type of damage to the house and the people in the area and hopefully everybody just stays safe and you know hunkers down when they need to. Now other homeowners that took damage last time also told me off camera they brought patio furniture and remind you it is 60 degrees out at least it was today also their trash cans and trying to limit anything that that wind can take and push into someone else's yard or even into the street. There was also some advice if you do take some damage Take photos or video of that damage right away for your insurance purposes. Always, always good to have that proof. We're live tonight in Wauwatosa. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. All good tips. Still time. You can run out there, bring some stuff back in. All right, Sam, thanks.